So today we're gonna, just going to be doing a quick demonstration on how to get some liquid and transform that into liquid tether and store that liquid tether on your Jade hardware wallet. So this is just a super quick presentation on what we're going to be doing and why we're going to be doing it. So as I mentioned, we're going to be swapping liquid Bitcoin for USDT and then we're going to send that USDT to our Jade. Um, so why do we want to do this? Well, if you want to maintain the stable coin balance of USD or euros while retaining benefits of cold storage self custody, you can do this with the uh, liquid assets on Jade. You can also utilize properties of liquid network, such as fast confirmation times, low fees and confidential transactions. Also, you can trustlessly swap between liquid Bitcoin and stable coins for portfolio rebalancing. No trading, no nonsense. You have to deal with exchanges. All you need is side swap. It's very cool. So for today, we're going to need four things. That is some liquid Bitcoin. We are going to need side swap on desktop or mobile. Today, I'm going to be using desktop. We're going to need Blockstream Green so that we can have a wallet to receive the USDT to, and then Jade uh, to obviously receive the receive the USDT. So with that, let's actually do the thing. Cool. So I'm going to exit out of this presentation, and I'm going to side swap. Can you still see SideSwap? Or can you see SideSwap? Just the slide deck still, Drew. Rip. We don't oh, want that. I saw it for a second there. Uh, you saw it for a second? Just a second. How about now? Still the deck. Rip. All right. Uh, just, okay. <laughs> we're going to stop sharing. And then we're going to reshare. I'm just going to do my whole desktop. I think. All right. So now we see green. Now we see side swap. Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. So sorry for the technical difficulties. As we can see over here, we have our liquid Bitcoin in our side swap, and we're going to be transforming this liquid Bitcoin into USDT. Super easy. All you're going to need to do is go over to the swap functionality in SideSwap. And we are going to do the max amount of liquid Bitcoin we have. And we are going to then spit out USDT. So you just put in how much you want and you simply press swap. So we're just going to wait a couple seconds. It's loading. Perfect. The swap has been uh, initiated. And now the great thing about liquid is the amount of confirmations you need for a transaction to be final is considered to be two tr confirmations. One confirmation takes one minute. And this is done every minute on the minute. So we're just going to wait for two minutes. And we will then see that this USDT transaction is fully confirmed. As we can see down here, if we go to our link, pull this over here, we will be able to see the transaction uh, in real time once it loads. As you can see, unconfirmed confirmed in one block and every block's a minute. So with that, I am going to set up my uh, Jade with green. I got to log in, do the pin. So I'm plugging in right now. You don't see me do it, but I'm plugging in my Jade to my computer and I am going to unlock my Jade and I am going to unlock my liquid wallet and I won't tell you my super secret pin of ones across the board because it's super secure. So one, one. Cool. Now we are going to go over to our liquid wallet and we are going to see that this is fresh and new. We're going to press receive 
I uh, am going to copy the address and I'm going to go back to SideSwap and I am going to send a transaction and I am going to paste my um, liquid address in and I'm going to press tether. I'm going to do the max amount and I'm going to press review and I don't have enough liquid Bitcoin in my wallet. Nice. Drew, it's just drop bad. your um, address into the chat and uh, we'll send you some real quick. Look at that. Look at teamwork. It's a good lesson. You need liquid Bitcoin for fees. A chump. No, you did that on purpose. Who's going to be the lucky person to fund me? I'm about to have chased up them. It's a race to see who can pay me the most amount of money. Who's going to be my favorite friend? Hmm. Okay, I've sent. Thank you, sir. Bitcoin for transaction fees. Look at that. Chase is my new favorite friend. 5,000 liquid sats. I owe you. All right, let's restart it. So <laughs> we're going back to Jade on our uh, green wallet, and I'm now going to press receive, and I'm going to copy over that liquid address. I'm going to exit out of green, and I'm going to go back to side swap. I'm going to wait a couple confirmations to for the liquid transaction that Chase sent me to come on through. Once that's done, we'll send our liquid tether over to our Jade hardware wallet. One confirmation, exciting. So fun little feature that's gonna be coming soon to SideSwap, quick teaser. I'm going to actually jump ahead in the slideshow. We're getting crazy here. Woo soon is uh, native support with Jade within SideSwap. So that's in the works. It will be a very cool functionality, functionality that I am personally excited for. So keep your eyes and ears peeled. That's coming soon. I'm just waiting for this last confirmation to come through. Sorry for the silence. See, as I said earlier, one minute on the minute, every minute. Two confirmations, let's rock and roll. So I have copied over my liquid address into green, from green, and I'm going back to side swap where we are now going to send our USDT out of SideSwap and into our Jade hardware wallet. So we're gonna press send. I'm going to paste in the address. I'm going to click the asset that I wanna send and I'm going to send my USDT. I wanna send all of it and I'm gonna press review. As we saw earlier, you do need liquid Bitcoin in order to send a transaction. So if you make sure you have some for fees. Uh, so with that, the network fee looks good to me, so I'm going to press broadcast, rock and roll. So now this transaction has zero of two confirmations. We could follow the link, click on that, and I'm going to close out of the other two transactions we saw earlier. Going back to green, as we could see in here, our unconfirmed transaction is within our green wallet that is locked by Jade. So if we wait two minutes, this will be finalized and we will now have uh, just under $7 of USDT within our Jade hardware wallet. So thank you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.
Does anyone have any questions on how to do that, why they want to do that, anything at all? Happy to answer. Yeah, maybe uh, Rich or, or Drew as well. Um, you want to talk about the general benefits of cold storing your, your assets, uh, liquid assets, whether they be, you know, liquid Bitcoin or, or stable coins? What kind of uh, security guarantees do you get with the Jade? I think in general, the swaps uh, directly from Jade is going to be pretty game changing. I think right now people might be scared, you know, swap too much, have too much in the hot wallet that is required for swaps, liquid swaps currently. Uh, but doing that directly from Jade gives you a big incentive to not really use exchanges anymore. And you can just trustlessly trade with USDT, Bitcoin, if you think your portfolio is getting too heavy one way or the other. Um, and so just allowing that super secure Jade storage where, um, you know, your keys aren't sitting on a phone or anything it allows for a lot of cool new use cases. And we're excited to explore that a good bit. Looks like it will have a demo ready for uh, Ugano plan B. So that's awesome. Good to hear that side swap. So someone in the chat asked, um, can you show how to get liquid Bitcoin? Um, sure. Real quick, I just wanted to show that our USDT transaction is final. So rock and roll. Uh, yes, I could showcase how to uh, get some liquid Bitcoin. It's very easy. In fact, we're just going to be using Bolts, our good old friend at Bolts. And... Um, what am I going to do? I need strike on my phone open. And what we're going to do, you're going to go to bolts.exchange slash swap, and you're going to be sending which asset, you're going to select which asset you're going to be sending over. I'm going to be doing lightning, and then you're going to pick which asset you want out, either on-chain Bitcoin or liquid Bitcoin. We're going to be doing liquid. I will send 10,000 sats over to via lightning. And Bolts will give you the network fee along with the Bolts fee. And uh, I need a liquid address. So I'm simply going to go back into my uh, liquid wallet that's already open. And I'm going to press receive. I'm going to copy over this address, liquid address. I'm going to enter the liquid address into here. And I'm going to create an atomic swap. Oh. Okay, uh, small error, but we'll get past it. So from there, I am going to scan this QR code with a uh, strike from my phone. You can't see me do that, sorry. And I'm confirming my transaction on strike. I press OK. And as you can see on bolts, it uh, says congratulations. Let's view this transaction in the Block Explorer. And it's an unconfirmed transaction. If we go back to our green wallet, we should see. Not yet. I got too excited. Well, close out of here. And as I have mentioned so many times already today, every minute on the minute, every minute, a new confirmation is put into the liquid network. So if we wait two minutes, this will be in our green wallet. Easy enough. Thanks, Chuck, for the question. There you go. There's our transaction, unconfirmed. Drew, how would somebody go back to Bitcoin from here? You don't need to actually do it, but maybe just show how that works. Rich, great question. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we're just going to simply use bolts again. From here, we can select liquid and then, wait a second. Man, that was harder than it. I'm sorry. Um, so we can go from liquid to lightning. 
Um, so we're just going to paste in, we would paste in our um, uh, lightning address and we would send liquid Bitcoin back to Bolt for the, an atomic swap to spit out some lightning sats to us. There's also side shift that we could do this on, right? Yeah, but it's not accessible to uh, US users. I see. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's there's quite a selection now of uh, places you can go and swap uh, between uh, Lightning and Liquid or um, just to get access directly to Liquid Bitcoin, right? So there's a, there's a few central exchanges like Bitfinex, I think uh, BTSE, um, and then uh, quite a few um, DEXs and peer-to-peer -peer, uh, platforms. I think Peach Bitcoin, uh, which is available for non-US users as well, um, uh, recently integrated Liquid Bitcoin. You also have RoboSats, um, BISC, you know, kind of the major ones that are also available to US users um, have Liquid Bitcoin as well. So I think we'll continue to see more uh, platforms integrate Liquid Bitcoin. So hopefully liquidity improves and, and it makes it a lot more convenient for uh, people. But yeah, thanks for um, demoing those, uh, Drew. Appreciate it. Um, I, I don't know if the audience has any general questions about Jade, uh, whether it be like security or um, updates coming soon. What is the latest on the, um, uh, the new Jade colors? with the transparent jades? Great when question. Uh, so we're gonna get a small shipment of transparent blacks uh, in the next four weeks. So if you want early access to a transparent black, you have insider information, keep your eyes peeled in the next three to four weeks. Um, and then we're getting our large shipment of all of the colors um, just about in the middle of October. So you should be able to buy any color you want in, uh, call it six weeks, six to seven weeks. Nice. And that includes the uh, transparent green, right? Transparent green, transparent orange, transparent clear white. I don't know what to call it. Transparent black and then transparent, which one? Did, blue. Is that the one I didn't say? Yes. Right. Cool, excited for those. Got to collect them all. Pokemon. <laughs> no firmware by QR codes yet, Maximus. <laughs> One day. <laughs> He's consistent. You got to give it to him. I love it. Uh, what has been the response like for the new UI, Rich? Maybe talk a little bit about that and, um, you know, just like the general overhaul, what was uh, changed and uh, the response by the community. Yeah, I mean, we heard some really good stuff. A lot of people saying Jade feels like a completely new device. Um, and then some similar thoughts as to what I was thinking is going back to the old UI from the new one. Uh, it's hard to believe anyone ever uh, could see what's on that screen. Uh, so a lot of a lot of feedback like that. Um, Really, really awesome. Well, yeah, appreciate the comment there too. Um, really awesome changes, you know, basically, basically making fonts bigger, uh, menus more easy to navigate, uh, things more obvious and clear. You'll see that Jade UI mock-up right there showing swaps being confirmed. So just more room on screen to do stuff like that. Um, and I, I think it's it's really gonna be help, helpful for our, our users, not just beginners, but advanced too, not just with the hard C screen and um, helping to navigate some of these more advanced features we have coming out. Uh, this you know, new UI is really going to help that. Well, if there's uh, no more questions, we can probably wrap it up. And um, I assume we'll spin up a thread on Bolt 2 and uh, where we can kind of direct any questions. Do it, you know, do a general thread on Jade. Um, so it's pretty easy and accessible for people. 